In my previous video about amplitude problem, I showed you how to determine true azimuth, gyro error, and the deviation of the ship's heading during sunset, using the formula, sine amplitude, equals sine declination, divided by cosine latitude. This mathematical approach allowed us to calculate the sun's amplitude and assess compass accuracy. In this follow-up video, we'll revisit the same scenario, but employ a different method, utilizing amplitude tables to determine the sun's amplitude at sunset. Amplitude tables, such as those found in Nori's nautical tables, provide pre-computed values that simplify this process, offering a practical alternative when computational tools are unavailable. It's important to note that amplitude tables are specifically designed to calculate the true bearing or azimuth of a celestial body at the moment of its rising or setting. In contrast, the ABC tables are intended to find the azimuth of celestial bodies when they are at a significant altitude above the horizon. Understanding the distinction between these tables ensures accurate application in celestial navigation. It is stated in this table that the true amplitudes given in the main table are calculated for the instant when the true altitude of the body is precisely 0 degree, 0 minute. In the case of the Sun, owing to the effects of dip, refraction and parallax, the lower limb at this instant will appear to be approximately half a diameter above the visible horizon. If the compass bearing is taken at this moment, there will be no need to apply any correction. In practice, when taking the compass bearing of the sun, using a sextant to determine the sun's true altitude, at zero degrees zero minute, is not necessary. Approximating the sun's lower limb, as half its diameter above the visible horizon will be enough, a small inaccuracy is negligible. However, should the bearing be observed when the sun's center appears to be in the visible horizon, the correction obtained from the subsidiary table should be applied by being added to the observed azimuth, reckoned from the elevated pole, but this scenario will be discussed in a separate video. In this scenario, we'll focus on the second step. Instead of using this formula, we'll utilize the amplitude table provided in Nori's nautical table which can be found on page 429. I'll use the same scenario as my previous video, so we can compare the results of both methods. Looking at the table, to find the amplitude of the body, we need the declination and the latitude at the time of taking the compass bearing. To determine the declination, go to your nautical almanac, open the daily page, and find March 14th, the edition I used is 2021. If you know how to determine the declination using a nautical almanac, kindly fast forward the video. In this daily page, it covers March 14th, 15, and 16. This is March 14th. Let's zoom in on this portion. Our body is Sun. This column is the declination value, the Greenwich hour angle, GHA and the universal time in hours. The time we took the gyro bearing at sunset was 2-3 hours universal time. We can take the universal time and the ship's position from our GPS receiver, the variation from the paper chart or from the ectus, and the compass course from the magnetic compass. The declination of the sun at 2-3 hours UTC is 2 degrees 9 decimal 1 minute south. This is the sun's declination at 2-3 hours UTC. For the D correction, we can find it below, or at the bottom of the daily page, the D correction is 1.0. Next, inspect the declination value from above going down, and note if it is increasing or decreasing. In this case, it is decreasing, this the reason why we subtract the correction. To determine this correction, find this 48 minutes in the increments table, or in the yellow page of the nautical almanac. In the V and D correction, 
find 1.0. It is here, the correction is, 0.8 minute. We subtract the correction, since the value of declination is decreasing. If it is increasing, we will add the decorrection. The declination at sunset is, 2 degrees, 8 decimal 3 minutes south. Let us now determine the sun's amplitude, using the amplitude table. The sun's declination at setting is, 2 degrees, 8.3 minutes. In this table, we have 2, and 3 degrees. If we take the nearest value, we need the column along the 2 degrees declination. Next, we need the ship's position, specifically the latitude. In the table, the available latitude is 22 and 24 degrees. If we take the nearest value, we need the column along the 22 degree latitude. Let's zoom in on this portion and tabulate. We got 2 decimal 2 degrees. So the sun's amplitude is west 2 decimal 2 degrees north. The prefix name is west, since the body is setting, and the suffix name is, same name as latitude, which is north. If we want a more precise value, we go through interpolation. At 2 degrees declination, along latitude 22 and 24 degrees, the amplitude is the same, but at declination 2 and 3 degrees, the difference is, 1 degree. Let's interpolate the amplitude at declination 2 degrees, 8 decimal 3 minutes. At declination 2 degrees, latitude 22 degrees, the amplitude is 2.3 degrees. At declination 3 degrees, latitude 22 degrees, the amplitude is 3.2 degrees. We are looking for the amplitude of this declination and latitude. The difference between these two declinations is 8.3 minutes, which is equal to 0.14 degree. To convert 8.3 minutes into a unit of degree, divide it by 60. Next, the difference between declination 2 and 3 degrees is 1 degree. On the other side, let this difference be x, our unknown. And the difference between these two amplitudes is 1 degree. So we now have 0.14 divided by 1 degree equals x divided by 1 degree. By cross multiplication, the value of our unknown is 0.14 degree. Next, apply the value of x. Since the value of declination is increasing from 2.2 to 3.2 degrees, we will add this value. You can use any method of interpolation which you are familiar with, this method serves only as a guide. So the amplitude at declination 2 degrees, 8 decimal 3 minutes, and latitude 22 degrees is, 2 decimal 3 4 degrees. If we round it off to one decimal place, the sun's amplitude using an amplitude table with interpolation is, west, 2 decimal 3 degrees north. We got the same amplitude value using the previous method. In part 1 of this video, I have already discussed how to determine the true azimuth, once we have the amplitude value. It also includes how to determine the gyro error, and the deviation for the ship's heading. If you want to see the full details of part 1 of this video, kindly visit the link in the description, or in the comments section below. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful. See you in my next video, thank you for watching, bye.